Basically, uh, it is about um, uh, things that we have done in order to pres uh, preserve the cult cultural heritage and uh, in prison, and uh, uh, just to uh, um, basically introduce a little bit because as <laughs> Even in an introduction, uh, prison municipality is um, a second big municipality in Kosovo. It uh, basically, it was historical capital of Kosovo, and now it is by law officially as a historic capital. Um, it is around 200,000 uh, uh, with 200,000 residents, um, and uh, uh, we have another 100,000 who live in uh, different states in Europe. Uh, they usually come during the summer, so in summer we have a very uh, uh, big amount of people in the streets and uh, car jams, traffic jams. Uh, but uh, during uh, winter we uh, are very silent, like in in uh, sake last night. <laughs> Uh, but uh, in, um, overall, it is in the southern part of Kosovo. It's uh, in with the area is the biggest municipality because Kosovo is a very small country actually. Uh, and uh, as a population, like municipality has half of the population in the city and uh, another half in uh, 76 villages which surround the municipality. Uh, it is uh, basically uh, under the slopes of the mountains, uh, Shan Mountains, and uh, in the river banks of Lumbarli. It's a small river, uh, but the mountainous river, it's a fast river, and uh, it borders Albania and Macedonia as a, as a thing. Uh, in terms of um, um, economy, actually, uh, we, due to the old uh, historical developments, uh, we have lost all the industry. Uh, we have only uh, trade, agriculture, construction, and uh, uh, agro-processing industries and artisans, which are left. Some of those are left. Um, uh, Prisven, uh, basically, if you see that uh, in the mosques and uh, some uh, churches and other things, so that's a historical center of the, uh, of the city. And basically, in terms of history, it's dates to Roman times. It's first mentioned in second century as a, with the name of Theranda. It is in the military map of Roman Empire, like basically with 3,000 uh, other cities that were at that time um, uh, in the roads to Rome. So, uh, but also it's, uh, during the uh, Middle Ages, it was a center of several feudal kingdoms uh, from Bulgarian, Serbian, Albanian, and uh, afterwards, uh, after the Ottoman uh, took uh, the city, it was the center of Vilayet, which was like an administrative center of the, of the region. Um, and uh, its significance also lies in that, that it was the city where the Albanian League was formed in 1878 at, uh, as a demand for the unification of Albanian Vilayets and the government, and one gov under the one government. And basically, it was the first uh, request for um, uh, Albanian state during the Ottoman Empire, and uh, it, it is regarded as a, a birth city of Albanian nation. Um, so, uh, in, in, in terms of um, city, uh, it is uh, for these first images in 1868, basically, uh, of one Vien Vien Austrian photographer who was traveling. Uh, and if, uh, in terms of the city, uh, we had, it, it is a castle which was uh, inhabited and uh, the rest of the city was near the, the river. Uh, but uh, uh, in 1912, when it was uh, first Balkan War, when it was took, uh, the, the castle was burned and uh, it was not, never rebuilt uh, again and people never lived in, in the castle from that time. Uh, and uh, during communism, uh, lots of uh, destruction was made to old, uh, old architecture. Uh, basically, these parts that you see near the river don't exist anymore because they were cleared in order to open, uh, open roads and, uh, uh, and um, uh, in order to make people flee, actually. So uh, most of the city was lost during, uh, uh, during uh, uh, communist era, uh, 1945 to 90. 68, uh, but also in uh, in last war uh, there were uh, basically destructions, and uh, uh, this is a, a prison league uh, the building which was burned uh, by the Serbian forces, 
and also uh, a part of the city with 200, 200 uh, houses were burned. Um, and also after the war, uh, due to the revenge attacks, uh, some parts of the city where Serbs lived also were burned. So lots of destruction and... Uh, but uh, what is uh, important, uh, apart from all these wars and, uh, and destructions and everything, uh, we still have uh, 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 many um, uh, old buildings remaining and also uh, uh, the um, uh, religious monuments uh, remaining. And let rega regard cultural heritage in terms of uh, prison, we can say that, okay, architecture is the most important, but uh, we have also uh, cultural heritage in terms of communities and religions and also artisans and manufacturing. So uh, in, uh, I was elected in uh, last year in uh, December, um, and since December I was working in this regard uh, to, uh, to preserve a cultural heritage, uh, taking into consideration all these three aspects. Because I think uh, that uh, basically uh, you cannot have um, a preservation of uh, uh, cult architectural and cultural heritage without the preservation of communities and religions and also uh, or religious uh, uh, communities and also uh, artisans and manufacturings which were uh, being done in those uh, parts of the city. Um, and uh, we took a, a general approach uh, basically to this. Um, um, so, yeah, I'm sorry, where I stand. Um, now this is a city view from the, from the center. Uh, basically, uh, uh, in terms of um, um, arch arch architecture, we have uh, lots of buildings from the Ottoman Empire uh, and uh, many religious buildings which date, predate those, especially Orthodox Church, um, uh, several Orthodox churches and uh, uh, Catholic uh, uh, Church which was built actually during the Ottoman time. Uh, but. Uh, and this stone bridge and uh, many other uh, similar uh, uh, civic uh, uh, buildings. Um, still, prison is. Oops, sorry. So, still, prison is uh, is one of the most uh, uh, di diverse uh, ethnic and religious um, uh, sites in in Balkans. In terms of communities, it has eight uh, traditional communities who live, of course, Alba uh, majority Albanian, uh, but we have Bosnians, Turks, Roma, Ashkali, Egyptians, Gorani, which are called, and also Serbs. Uh, because people uh, live together uh, we uh, in the city, and uh, there are no uh, boundaries, actually, um, it is one of the most polygot uh, cities with the highest polygots in, in Europe. Uh, many people uh, speak uh, three languages at the same time. Um, and in terms of religious communities, we have established uh, Sunni, uh, like uh, Sunni Islam community, Catholic Church, Orthodox Church, and Sufi and Jewish community. Um, so uh, basically this is uh, city center and uh, it's one of the rare uh, sites where in, I think uh, in many, um, in Europe or maybe even in the world, where when you, when you take a picture, you can take a picture of uh, four different religious uh, uh, objects and also the castle, which is uh, up in the hill. So um, uh, this is what uh, we want to preserve, actually. So, um, and why, why is this, okay, um, in terms of uh, preserving the uh, ethnic and religious diversity, we have um, four uh, official languages, although Albanians make up uh, around 80% of population. Uh, another uh, uh, official language is a Serbian, Bosnian, and Turkish language in, in our municipalities, so it's one of the municipalities which has the most uh, uh, official languages in Kosovo, I don't know, in Europe maybe it's also. Uh, but uh, now there is a request also from Roma, uh, Roma community to have letter language as a traditional language, uh, official language. Um, and we have in the schools, apart from all, the, all these languages, we have also classes for in Roma language. Um, in terms of uh, 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 official things, we have a... Um, uh, sorry, I, I think I... Yes. I, 
um, I forget uh, earlier, I think. Um, in terms of uh, political things, we, in, in assembly we have a, a, a committee for uh, communities where all ethnic uh, groups are, uh, are presented there and they uh, voice their concerns regarding uh, different uh, issues that we, uh, or, or decisions that we make in the municipality. But also within the municipality we have office for the communities who deals only with the issues of the communities or n uh, uh, minority issues and, uh, and uh, tries to uh, make social inclusion and uh, basically work on the projects related to social inclusion. Um, yes, I'm sorry, here was the, the thing about that. Uh, but uh, uh, one, what is also important is that apart from the uh, communities that we have in, uh, in, the, in the municipality, uh, there is uh, also a lot of uh, diversity within Albanian community. Uh, we have uh, uh, Albanians, Catholic, Catholic Albanians, Muslim Albanians, and, uh, and uh, some also Orthodox. Uh, in terms of uh, 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 the, the region, uh, there are lots of festivals, uh, and uh, basically uh, we are trying to help these festivals because they preserve the traditions and uh, in order to uh, 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 basically uh, su by supporting the, the, the festivals, uh, local festivals who happen in the villages and in the, for the communities and minorities, I think uh, we are also uh, uh, supporting uh, the preservation of those. Um, uh, these are the, basically some of the uh, traditional uh, wedding, um, no, uh, brides, uh, how they look <laughs> when they marry. Uh, it's a, uh, first is a Bosnian, uh, the second is a, 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 from the city Albanian, and the third is Albanian from the village. Um, uh, but uh, what I want to say is that uh, there are at least uh, old traditions are still remaining and we are trying to preserve uh, as much as possible, because uh, I think there is a very nice attraction. Um, uh, and what we have seen in this uh, 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 thing that, that cultural diversity is a, is, is a very big asset for tourism, uh, because uh, we have, uh, uh, apart from uh, uh, tourists who come uh, for uh, uh, just to visit the uh, uh, sites, they also come for the festivals that are uh, happening in the villages, in, in different uh, parts of the city, and uh, uh, we are also trying to um, basically present this as much as, as better as possible. Uh, we have created a calendar, a cult cultural calendar, which basically uh, provides the calendar of all events that happen during the year, and uh, where they happened, who is organizing, who is taking part, and uh, what, what is important about these uh, cultural events that are happening. Um, and um, also working with the tour opera operators in the region to present these uh, events and, and, and everything. Um, okay, uh, continuing on this, so these are another like uh, dresses or uh, how people uh, dress in this uh, in different parts of the of the Brisbane municipality. Um, what uh, I think also is important in terms of cultural heritage is uh, artisans and manufacturing heritage that is uh, uh, in the prison. Uh, before a century ago, uh, we, according to the Ottoman uh, writings uh, or um, statistics, there were 186 different manufacturing artisans, like uh, so, uh, which were handmade. At present, we have 26 branches of this who are remaining, but most of those basically are endangered by uh, devel economic developments that are going on. Uh, and in order to uh, preserve this, basically we are uh, trying to uh, identify people who work in these artisans and trying to uh, identify young people who want to continue this. And uh, if you look at their economic uh, value, it's not anymore that people would want to buy a handmade uh, knife or a handmade uh, uh, scissors or something like that. But uh, um, in terms of souvenirs and other things, I think it, it, it has a value. And uh, with increasing number of tourists, uh, more and more people want to buy something made by hand. 
So we are working on this, uh, but uh, at the moment, for example, if you heard about filigree, uh, Prison is uh, basically a center of uh, uh, filigree work, uh, which is done in silver and gold. And this is uh, on, on a small, um, uh, um, uh, with very tiny, <laughs> what do you say, like, um, uh, huh? Yeah, uh, uh, basically, uh, this is a handmade, which is, uh, 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 it has a long history. Uh, and now uh, there are remaining like 10 or 20 people who still work in this uh, area. And what we did is basically try to find uh, young people who are interested in these artisans and uh, organizing trainings for uh, them uh, by supporting uh, also their sales and uh, trying to buy, well, we will buy everything and uh, then uh, try to sell in the city market. Um, uh, uh, what else we have tried to do with artisans is uh, in, uh, in terms of um, city. Next year we will have an opening of the new innovation and training uh, park, which, is, which will be done with the German government and uh, as a part of the complex, which is around 40 hectares. It was a, a, a German... Um, army base, and now uh, the army is moving as a, a labor uh, protection force after the war in 1999. Um, and uh, basically, because the army is moving, all those buildings will be turned to uh, uh, complex where uh, companies who are interested to uh, open a business uh, can take with a low rent. And uh, here, uh, our, we as a municipality will take several buildings uh, where we will try to uh, accommodate these old artisans and handicrafts. So whoever wants to uh, see how it's worked and how uh, and buy something, they can go to these houses, which will be uh, only for artisans. And uh, it will be also the training center for these things. Uh, what I want to uh, say also, like, for example, now we have organized uh, these uh, small fairs uh, where people can sell their handmade products. Uh, and uh, basically, um, these are the, uh, some uh, cases of those. Uh, and we'll trans trans uh, uh, continue to, to do that in the future, uh, next years. Uh, cultural heritage and arch architectural buildings uh, for the historical center. Um, uh, cultural heritage is constant da danger from uh, destruction, both natural and human. But uh, I think uh, it's uh, basically um, more human using nature to try uh, to demolish old buildings in order to do new buildings. So basically, uh, in this regard, uh, because of the high demand of for space in the old town. Uh, many old buildings were left uh, to, to be, dis to be dis destru um, destructed by themselves. Basically, they, were, they would uh, demolish the roof, and then uh, because of the water, by time, it would, uh, uh, the building would uh, uh, get destroyed, and um, basically, uh, in order to open space for businesses and for uh, parking lots. Uh, as a, uh, for example, in the uh, last uh, 10 years, uh, from uh, 300 uh, uh, old houses that were in the list uh, uh, for cultural heritage, around 240 were lost. Um, but uh, since uh, December uh, uh, 90, uh, since December last year, uh, what we did, uh, we don't have lots of budget for protection, but uh, and we had only two inspectors for the uh, for the uh, historical city center. Uh, what we did uh, basically is to open a call center, uh, which uh, is free call, like zero uh, eight hundred, so uh, people don't have to pay for the calls, but also with Viber, WhatsApp, and the web application. Uh, and this application can be downloaded in uh, smartphones. People, when they photograph, uh, exact place and uh, time is sent, so we can know what is going on. And uh, with this, especially uh, since uh, January this year, uh, we didn't have any case of uh, destruction or demolition of the, any old building or building which is under the protection. Um, and uh, any new, uh, any intervention in the old buildings uh, that uh, were uh, going on uh, are stopped, uh, were stopped. 
Um, uh, uh, in this regard, uh, what we are doing also, we are doing partnership with civil society organization for protection, public, uh, uh, public awareness and reconstruction of the buildings. Um, and uh, especially trainings for wood reconstruction and stone buildings because uh, many, uh, these uh, things were lost and now we are trying to get new craftsmen who can work in reconstruction. And this is uh, uh, one of the film festivals which is happening in prison, DokuFest. And uh, DokuFest, for example, uh, used old uh, sites of the city for a documentary film festival and then it became one of the biggest uh, documentary film festivals in the Balkans. Uh, and uh, they are, for example, helping us a lot in this regard because they become very uh, self-sufficient and they uh, and, and have very good budget. So together with them, we are working in the protection of the old buildings. Uh, protection of cultural heritage uh, uh, at the end. So uh, just to uh, do uh, this uh, old parts of the city which have old buildings, uh, usually people uh, are not inter interested to rebuild them. They, uh, they want to, uh, you know, destroy them and build something new, bigger, modern, uh, uh, and uh, in order to um, uh, protect this, we, are, we did a project whereby basically uh, we analyzed the situation and uh, for the houses uh, which are old, we are trying to find a partner to invest and uh, people don't have to put their money to reconstruct. So we are putting some money, uh, we got some EU funds and uh, British government funds and businesses who want to take these buildings. And uh, we are making a business plan. So uh, for example, if the uh, one house is very old and it cannot be used, uh, we will reconstruct it as it is and after five years, the owner will take the house for free. And uh, basically, uh, we are working on this. Uh, first pro pilot project is with 20 houses. Um, and um, uh, we have initiated a uh, plan for uh, making several museums in the city. And basically, just not to continue on and on, because we are late, I think, uh, to be on time. Uh, the objectives for the future uh, we, is that uh, we have did uh, the uh, management plan for the, for the uh, uh, historical center of Prizren. And this uh, management plan, uh, basically, according to this, uh, which will fin finalize uh, this month, uh, will establish the office for the management of the historic center of Prizren. So we'll have a group of people who work on the management of the city center. Uh, because as a municipality, we cannot be there all the time. Creation of the new museums and functionalization of the old museums in the city. Development of formal and informal education for the cultural heritage, because uh, we need that people have to be educated and uh, get awareness that these are the things that they have to protect. Um, documentation of all the traditional houses, because in the city center, we have the documentation that which houses and are, uh, are for the heritage. But outside of the, uh, of the historical city center, there are also lots of old houses which we need to uh, document to, and in order to put them in the list for the preser preservation. And uh, basically, I think that, uh, okay, economy is not, uh, if we economize everything, is commercialize everything, is not very good. But in order to, for people that this building have a, a value, we have to uh, make, uh, we make to realize people that uh, people come to visit prison because of these buildings. So you have to protect them. And uh, in, that, in that regard, uh, promotion and branding of the prison as a touristic uh, destination is one of the uh, last objectives. So this was it. Yeah, I finished. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>